Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Can you hear me okay? Okay, today we're going to do an eye tutorial. I first want to talk to you about different aspects that I think people forget about or you don't, um, maybe you never knew about it. If you look at the white of the eyes, it's never just white. So I'm going to start with the very dark brown eye. So in the ex in a very dark brown eye, you'll see that there's a shadow. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see what I'm what I'm saying. Let me just zoom in a bit. Okay. Okay, you'll see that there's darker areas and the shadow area of the corner of the eye actually creates more of a shadow in the right hand side of the eye. And then there will be like a yellowy bit there and whites and then the shadow that the eyelid is casting onto the eye. It's similar when, uh, for example, the light is coming from the one side and that would be from the right hand side, then it will cast a sh the nose will cast a shadow onto the eye. Here on this one you'll see that there's this side of the white is lighter than the left hand side. As you can see the shadow, the, because the light is shining right through the iris, you'll see that there's also a color cast onto the white. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. Hello everyone. Okay, if you look at this, the bigger eye that I've that I've drawn, you'll see uh, uh, the the light is coming from the left hand side, and there's no nose that casting that's casting a shadow. So here you will find a extremely light, um, a highlighted area in the white. So the light will reflect here and on both sides of the eye. And also you also need to, the reflection of the eyes is never exactly the same. So it will not be just a line or maybe just a dot. Yes, it's easy to draw it like that. But if you really look at eyes, you'll see that the eyelashes will be in the highlight sometimes like you can see at the the top top eye you'll see this 
um, eyelashes casting a shadow onto the white or the in the highlight itself. And then you must also remember that the eye is moist. So that's why you need to also pick up on the reflection to show the moist of the eye. For example, in the bigger eye, the, this white sections here that I've highlighted so that you can see it, you create like the moist area of the eye. Thank you, Kenny. Hello, everyone. Hello to everyone. Oh, if I've missed you earlier. Um, I'm going to start with the darkest eye first. Thank you, Andrea. And in a dark, the dark eye is not just black, like or dark brown, like most of the people treat the eye as. So I'm gonna just start with the inside first. So I will be using. Thank you, Andrea, and Pam, and Bertha, and Abby. Sherry, I only own Prismas and Faber Castle Polychromas, so I will be using Faber Castle Polychromas or Prismas in the tutorials until I get other pencils. So the first pencil I'm using is beige. It's PC. Double nine seven. So I'm going to start. Next is French Grey, PC1076. So now you see I've put beige on the one side and I'm doing a grey in this corner. And grey at the top where the eyelid is casting the shadow.
Next, I'll be using 20% warm grey PC1051. Now I'm going over the grey a little bit, mixing it in and lighten and lighten the bottom section of the eye. That is very true, Selena. But it's difficult with the composition, you know, if you want a beautiful face and the eyes go too big, then it looks unnatural. But I also agree, big eyes is really pretty on most of the faces. Next is Mahogany Red PC1029. Now we're going to do the corner of the eye. Hello Jess, how are you? And this was Mahogany Red PC1029. Now I'm going to use Pink PC929. I think I'll just zoom in a bit so that it's... Uh, next is Burnt Ochre PC943. Now I'm warming up the left hand corner of the eye. Next is Espresso PC1099. I'm just warming up the shadow area that the eyelid is casting as well. Next is 10% French Grey PC1068.
I'm just using the beige again, PC, double nine seven, blending in my warmer area. Next is 90% warm grey, PC1058. Next, I'm going to use black. The black is PC935. You would do the iris edges in black, like you would normally do in a color eye. And then the pupil in black. Hi, Kirsty. And now just adding the shadow area onto the iris. Next is CPR PC948. Uh, Pink Monkey, this is a free download from my website and you can practice on these sheets that I'm coloring now. Um, you can go to the Color My Dreams, uh, www.colormydreams.co.za uh, and you can download it there for free or you can get it from the files in on my Facebook group. I'm going to go back in with the Mahogany Red PC1029. You're welcome. It was just uh, so that everybody can practice the eyes. So I thought uh, it will be a free download so everybody can try it. Uh, next is Sepia again, PC948. 
I'm just giving the detail to the to the pink corner of the eye now. Would you like a hair tutorial, Joe? Next is the 10% French Grey PC1068. Now I'm adding the moisture aspects. So I'm highlighting the bottom section here. The section just after the shadow ended. Here. This bottom section and here. And on the pink, we follow the shape. Okay. What colour hair tutorial do you ladies think would be nice to do? Next is Dark Amber BC 947. Now I'm really darkening the brown area of the dark brown eye. Blacky, blonde, red, blonde, brown, and black. Okay, m maybe different options would be good. Next is seventy percent French grey PC one zero seven four. I'm just softening the shadow. What is it that you guys are struggling with on the blackie? Next is Burnt Ochre again, PC 943. Brunette, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Christine, maybe an oriental skin with black hair tutorial. 
Next is black, PC935 again. To give it a shine. Okay. Yes, I think we can do that. Okay, now I'm just quickly going to do the skin around the eyes so that we can just do the eyelashes and where the light catches on the bottom lid of the eye. This one is Green Ochre PC1091. Okay, that would be a good idea, Ryan, with the different colors, like sample page, where you can try all the different hair colors. This is again using the under painting, but I'm just using the the greens, but not the too much of the blues. Okay, this one was the green ochre, PC1091. Now I'm going to go in with the moss green, PC1097. Uh, next is Tuscan Red PC 937. Hi, it's Selena. Okay, different lens. Next is Black Grape PC 996. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Alina.
Okay, next is Burnt Ochre PC943. Oh, and noses, yes, we can do noses, because you get different profiles. Next is bronze, PC1028. <laughs> okay, and lips. Next is chocolate, PC1082. Bye, Rhea. Good night. Thank you for popping in. And thank you for being here. Yes, it is late. Fully understandable. <laughs> Have a good night's rest. When was your birthday, Sherry? Next is the Tuscan Red again, PC 937. Oh yes, yeah, Sherry, I said happy birthday to you. I think we are the same day. Yes, the 11th. Mine's also on the 11th, yes. Next is dark brown, PC 946. No problem, Barbara. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Selena. Now I'm going in with the black PC nine three five again. Now just going to do the details, a little bit more. Okay, the eyelid, I'm doing darker
the corner of the eye. We give it a little bit of detail. The tear duct is also a darker shadow area. Okay, next is Light Amber, PC941. I'm just filling in the lighter areas here. I'm blending them out a bit. Next is Black Raspberry, BC1095. Just blending the black in a bit. Next is Dark Amber, PC947. Next is a light amber PC nine four one. Now we're going to do the highlights. I just want to bring back some of the pink, pinker color. So if next is Mahogany Red, PC1029. And next is Seashell Pink, PC 
1093. Now I'm just going to do highlighted areas here where the eyelid will catch some light. So it will be just underneath this dark area here of the tear duct. Selena, I'm using the toned grey paper. I think it looks white because of all the lights that I have here to show you <laughs> how I colour and where the colours go. It's the toned grey paper. Now it's the first eye, Winnie. We're going to move on to the next one now. Yes, it does look a bit light from all the lights. Hi, Belinda. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Now we're just going to do the eyelashes and the, I'm going to go over with the uh, grey green light on the lighter areas. Thank you Barbara. Okay now the eyelashes I'm just going to draw in. And the grey green lights code is PC289. And the eyelashes I'm doing with a PC935. A And when you do your eyelashes, you must remember the way that it grows. Um, it is from the from the eyelid. It forms. It starts just above the pink area, then it curves upwards. So, if I had to explain it and draw on you, say this is the the pink area. It will. You will start your pencil there. Let me just try and zoom in a little bit more. And then it will grow upwards. And it will go the angle will go wider almost like sun rays
and remember the shorter ones and longer ones and you will also see the curve in the eye and you will you will see the the curve of the growth of the eye, eyelash you'll see so it's not a straight line This is now just a rough sketch, but just to explain how the eyelash would work. Thank you, Kenny. Then if you really want to accentuate the eyelashes, you would actually do go in with a little lighter color of where the, light, the eye catches light. So with mine, the light is coming from the left hand side. So you would have a couple of lashes that will catch some white or yellow. I'm just using that grey green light that I said I would use from the highlights. So then it will look a little bit more realistic. And it's not the whole lash, so it will just the top bits. Thank you so much, Belinda. Okay, so that's the dark eye. Now we're going to move to brown eyes because there's not a really a lot of people that's coloring brown eyes. And brown eyes are actually very beautiful. So we're going to start out. I've, I've drawn my eye, if you look at this image again, with the shadow that's cast it from the nose. So, so the light will come from the left hand side and the nose will cast the shadow and then the light will be, sh be catching onto the brown so you can see it more. Okay, so let me just move this out closer. Okay, so first of all, we'll start with the white area again. And again, it's not white, just plain white. Um, with, because the left hand side is in the shadow area, I will start with grey. I'm using 70% French grey, PC1074. Thank you, Selena. So I'm putting on the uh, left hand side, it's in the middle section of the eye and from the top bit and then on the right hand side where the light is falling onto the white, it will be at the bottom to create the roundness and the shape of the eye.
Oh, Belinda, but the very dark eyes, brown eyes are really beautiful. It's almost like they can stare into your soul. Next, I'm going to add yellow. Uh, Deco Yellow PC1011. So I'm adding the yellow. That will be the, the light that's coming through the iris and it will cast color onto the white. Okay, now I'm going to use Pale Sage PC1089. Belinda, the page is a free download from my website. My website, um, the www.colormydreams.co.za and it's a free page in my coloring group, Color My Dreams, on Facebook under Files. Barbara, the de you don't need to add so much detail. Um, I'm just showing you exactly what details really are in the eyes and that the white is not just white. So even if the eye is really small, you can still, like the top eye that I will be doing later, or uh, we'll see when we when how the time goes, um, you'll see that um, you still get a lot of details in a small area. Next is SAP Green Light, uh, PC120. To accentuate the shadow on the one side of the white of the eye, I'm just adding a little bit of green, because green will be complementary to the warm brown colors, so you, the eye will stand out. Next is Blush Pink PC 928. Now I'm going to add pink to the corner of the arm at the top and the pink area here on the front. Next is Mahogany Red PC 1029. And also the pink in a bit. Okay. 
Next is Light Peach PC927. Next is black, BC935. Oh no, Belinda. No what? Now to shape it, I'm just going to draw a thin line. Next is 90% French Grey, PC1076. Just working back the shadow. Next is the SAP green light BC120. I'm just blending in the grey with the green. Next is beige BC. Double nine seven. I wish they would print the codes in black or white on the darker colors. The silver is really hard to see in the light.
Yes, it's almost like it's shining too much on the light colors and then you can't see the codes. It's really difficult. Next, I'm just going in with the black again, PC935. We're doing the edge. Oh, awesome, Jennifer. That's great. Next is Terracotta PC944. Is the loom is worse, Selena? <laughs> that doesn't sound good for the loomies. Does it come off? I thought that would be better. It seems it's a general problem with all the pencils. Uh, next is Sepia PC948. Okay, bye-bye, Kaz. Thanks for being here and thanks for popping in. And next is yellowed orange PC one double zero two. Next is burnt ochre PC nine four three. Bye, Andrea. Thank you for being here and thank you for popping in. It was so nice to have you here.
Yes, Sherry, I've got the honours degree, degree in fine art. Uh, next is Pumpkin Orange, PC1032. But having an art degree is... Um, But having a degree in fine arts, we didn't use pencils. So it's just learning about colors and how to look at things. And, you know, there's different things that you can interpret in pencil coloring because we didn't use pencils. We used paints and we used um, charcoal and normal pencils, but not colored pencils. Next is Deco Yellow PC one zero double one. Thank you, Abby. I just want to zoom it in a little bit more, see if I can. Get it right. There we go. Next is dark brown PC nine four six. Thank you so much, Rain. Uh, next, I'm going to use dark purple PC nine three double one because you need to get the little lines in between, and then again, if I can draw, um, the black of the iris is round. But if you look at the colors, it f forms again almost like sun rays. This texture on the iris, and then the yellow so true, rain. So on the edges, it's not just round. It is um, like rounded scallops almost. If on some of the eyes, not on all, and but this is what I'm doing on the on the uh, brown one. And then you also the highlights you have inside you have lines. So if I ever decide to do a color tutorial with lo loonies, then I um, must definitely just use codes and no names because I will definitely not be able to pronounce it if it's hard to pronounce.
<laughs> yeah, I think I'll, I'll just stick to the guides. It will be easier. Okay, next I've, I've just used the black PC in 935. Just do a shadow area around the eye. Now, we're just going to go in with a beige Sienna PC 1080. Okay, next is dark brown, PC 946. I'm just darkening the edge of the pink area. And next to the tear duct. And around the eye. And now I'm going to use KDM Orange U PC 118. Next is Nectar PC one zero nine two. Next is Burnt Ochre PC943. Next is Chestnut PC 1081.
Next is Dark Amber PC 947. Okay, next is 90% uh, French Grey, PC 1076. Next is Goldenrod, PC1034. Uh, next is page PC double nine seven. Belinda, what do you think of the Karen Dash um, museums? Thank you so much, Selina. Okay, bye-bye, Selina. Thank you so much for being here. really appreciate it. And thank you for popping in. Rain, I have used um, watercolour pencils before and I actually quite like them. Oh, they're lovely. I got one as a sample when I bought my sharpener and Karen Dash has the best sharpener. They don't break any of your tips of your pencils. It's just brilliant. But um, they sent me a sample of a blue and I couldn't stop playing with it. Uh, this one that I've used is Light Peach PC 927.
next is light amber PC941. Next is Cadium Orange, BC118. Next is Beige, BC, double nine seven. Yes, Kenny, look, I can show you. This one is the Karen Dash Genevieve. And it is just brilliant. It's the best sharpener. Next is Beige, BC997. How many sharpeners do you own, Kenny? I got mine as a gift, so I'm really happy. I was really spoiled. My sharpener. This one is PC931. I'm just adding the purple again a little bit and in the folds and in the corner of the eye. Kenny, you won't use any other sharpener again after when you get this one. Ninety percent French grey, BC one zero seven six.
PC289, the grey green light. Now I'm just going to add the areas so that it can look like this moisture on the eye. Bye bye Magrit, thank you so much for watching and for being here. This is exactly the kind of um, reflection on the eye that looks like um, or that the eyelash actually catch the white part of the reflection. Oops. Bye Belinda, thank you so much for being here, I really appreciate it and thank you for popping in. Bye bye and have a nice day for the evening. Next is Tuscan Red, PC 937. Adding a little bit of color here and shadow. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you for being here. Good night. I really appreciate you being here and popping in to the live chats. Now this one is Sepia PC948. Okay, I'm just going to go a little bit darker with the Indigo Blue PC901. Okay, now we're going to do the eyelashes. Just need to sharpen the black again a little. Okay. 
and my grey green nut. Okay, but just before we do that, I just need to add a little bit more yellow. Uh, Deco yellow, PC1011. Just adding it here on the highlighted area. Yeah, where the light catches the eye. There we go. Bye-bye, Barbara. Thank you so much for being here. And stay safe. Yes, it's quiet. It's not a loud sharpener. It's lovely. And it doesn't break the tips. Okay, now we're going to remember what I said about the eyelashes. Now I'm going to do them again. And the bottom ones, you also, also you do normally do two and then one across. Two like that if you want to do the bottom ones so it's easy to just do first you do two marks and then shape it again and then two short ones in between wait let me let me zoom in i don't think you can see what i'm saying Hi Kimmy. So the on the bottom lashes you would do two lines and then one across and two lines and one across and in between you will have two shorter ones bent in the direction. But remember you need to do the sunshine uh, rays again. Okay, so now I'm going to do them here in the bottom. Start with the bottom uh, eyelashes. No problem, Kimmy. Kenny, I haven't, I only clean it after I've colored a whole page, not just like the eyes, but a full page. And I haven't had any problems with it. I haven't cleaned blades or anything. I'm just throwing out the sawdust, I mean by cleaning.
and I will brush the insides just clean. You can open it and brush the, the insides clean. But that's it. And again, remember what I showed you here. You need to have the rounded tip from where it grows out of the eyelid. Hi guys, are you back? Did you feed the wolves? How many children do you have left there at your house? Oh, that's awesome, Jennifer. Thank you for posting it. I will go and have a look. I'll only be doing the two eyes tonight. I will carry on with the other two um, next week, Wednesday. Good night, Jennifer. Eight. <laughs> so you have eight left there by you. Oh, but that's awesome. Next is the grey green light PC two eight nine. Now we're gonna add where the su the sun is or the light is. Remember what I said: the light, the nose is blocking the light, so it's casting a shadow on half the eye. Then here, where where the light catches the um eyelashes I will add some lighter color bye bye Sonia thank you so much for being here Hi, Dan. And with the white, you need to do exactly the same than with the black. You need to make the little area where it grows out of the pink section of the eye.
Now I'm just going to finish off with some last colors. So the KDM orange, U, it's PC118. I'm just doing a little bit of orange here to warm it up. And I think I need more black eyelashes here. Oh, thank you, Diane. Uh, dark Amber PC 947. I'm just extending the dark brown here. In the corner of the eye. Just need to shade it in with Burnt Ochre PC 943. Thank you, Pam. Uh, where's this one? Then uh, Beige Sienna PC Okay, now just going to add a little bit more black eyelashes. <laughs> I think we all can, Sherry. Can never have too much eyelashes. Eyelashes. Okay, let me zoom out. I think this is it for tonight. Thank, thank you so much for all of you that have been here. We will do the other two top eyes. A green one and a blue one we will do next week. And I hope you will all be here. Oh, let me just use a, a pink PC 929. Just a little bit here. But just before we go, Let's quickly do a page giveaway. Uh, choose a number between 1 and 100. Between 1 and 100. And then I can give a prize away. Oh, thank you all so much. So glad you liked them. These 
Ladies Eyes. And Diane, you'll see that uh, I'm also using uh, the grey green light and the black as um, on the eyelashes, not just black. Okay, are you ladies ready? Still choosing? Okay, and the lucky number is number 12. So who's the lucky winner? Abby, it looks like you are the winner. Congrats, Abby. Abby, you can w uh, PM me and then we c I can send you a page. You're closest to 12. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Hope to see you again next Wednesday so that we can finish the other two hours. Good night. Or well, I'm saying good night. And bye-bye. Have a great day. It's my pleasure, Sherry. You're always welcome.